Okay, we have to take another integral from the Vienna integration B2024, problem 68. We have the integral of x cubed over x to the fourth plus 3x squared plus 2 dx. Okay, so for this one, I think we can just do straightforward methods and set this up for the partial fractions. But first, what I need to do is we're going to need to just factor what we have here in the denominator. So what I can do on this, so the way I can factor this is going to be x squared plus 2 times x squared plus 1. And then for our partial fractions, let's just set this up. So I'll write this whole fraction as x cubed over x squared plus 1 times x squared plus 1. And then when we split this up, both of these are going to be quadratics. So we're going to need a first degree polynomial in the numerator. So we'll write this as ax plus b over x squared plus 1. Oh, I get the same. <laughs> Actually, I have the same thing here in both of them. So let me fix this. This first one's going to be x squared plus 2 right? And then the second one's going to be x squared plus 1. So let's make this x squared plus 2 here. And then for the second fraction, we'll have it as cx plus d over x squared plus 1. And then if I just kind of do this out the long way, kind of getting a common denominator, I can multiply x squared plus 1 times our ax plus b here. And when we do that, we're going to have ax cubed plus bx squared plus 1 times x. That's going to be ax plus b. Then doing the same thing here, multiplying x squared plus 2 times this part, we're going to have cx times x squared is going to be cx cubed. Then d times x squared will have dx squared plus 2cx plus 2d. And then let's think of this as adding together, after we get the common denominator, adding together the whole numerator, it's going to be adding all this stuff, but I've lined it up. And then what we have over here, you can think of this as a big polynomial. Like we can think of this as 1x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x plus 0. And then match everything, match the coefficients here. So for our x cubed, we want this to be equal to 1 here. For our x squared terms, we want that to be equal to 0. We're going to have 0 x squared terms. For our x terms, we're going to have 0. So this is going to be a 0 here. And for our constant terms, these need to be 0. So we just need to find these four constant values, a, b, c, and d. So like first, we have this equation here. We're saying b plus 2d equals 0. And then we can use this one right here. We're saying b plus d equals 0. But the only way for these two equations to be true, we need b equal to 0 and d equal to 0. So that takes care of those two values. Then we have these other two equations for our a and c value. So using this first one, we're saying a plus c equals one. And then over here, we're saying a plus two c equals zero. And you can solve it however you want, but like let's just subtract these two equations. The a's cancel. We end up with minus c equals one. So that tells me my c value is gonna be just minus one. And then we could just go back to one of them. Like let's just go back to this first equation. If c is minus one, then a needs to be two. So now all we need to do is just take these values here and here and plug them back in and then we can integrate. Okay, so now that we have our a, b, c, and d values over here to the right, we've taken our integral and we split it up now into like two different components, two different fractions. Then what we can do is split this into two integrals. So for the first one, we know our a and b value now. So like the a value is going to be 2 and the b value is 0. So we're just going to leave that off and so we end up with 2x over x squared plus 2 for this first integral. And then for the second one, we know our c value is minus 1 and d is 0. So this is going to just become minus x over x squared plus 1 dx here. For this first one, we can do a really quick u substitution. If u squared, if u equals x squared plus 2, then du is just going to be 2x dx, which we have in the numerator. Over here, we'll use another variable. We'll call it, a, we'll do a v substitution. So if we have v equal to x squared plus 1, then dv is going to be 2x dx. Well, in order to set up this numerator, let's actually take this minus sign and bring it out front here like this. And then I can multiply in a 2 here so that we have exactly our dv, but I don't want to change it, so I'll multiply by a half. But now each of these is perfectly set up for the u substitution, so I think we can just do this in our head because we see that we have like our u in the denominator, the du here, the v in the denominator, dv here. So going ahead with this, we're just going to have natural log. I'm going to drop absolute value because this is always positive. So we're going to have natural log x squared plus 2 minus a half. And then here, same kind of thing. Again, drop the absolute value, natural log x squared plus 1. 
And if we want, we can actually put these together. I could take the one half and bring it into the exponent and write this as like a square root here and combine these two with log properties and then putting it together for my final solution, we're just gonna have natural log x squared plus two over square root x squared plus one, add a plus c and that's it. Okay, there you have it, Vienna Integration B 2024. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.